So we may have come into the third dimension trying to manifest it, but we have a distortion. But the dream, the, the passion, we can still see it rumbling up, but the dream is not fully manifesting. Yeah. So we need to get back into either the first and second dimension, or we need to start traveling up in higher frequencies, getting into guardianship, if you will, the angelic beings. We'll see a lot of them coming from those higher dimensions. Mm-hmm. They need to get a different higher inspiration because one of the things that I've been doing as I've been studying dimensionalities is our first and second dimension carries source, absolutely, but also carries our mixture. Mm-hmm. The human mind and the human emotions and the attitudes and the strictness and then the freedom and then you do it this way or you do it that way and we're mixing it in that second dimension. That is mm-hmm. like the collective consciousness for humanity Mm -hmm. and if we have a lot of the i can'ts in it we're going to buy into it yeah it sounds quite complicated like a jumble like it's uh you can't like so that makes the chaos make a whole lot more sense to me because i think we all we all think we know about 3d because we're here and we're solid and yet there's so much going on behind the scenes so to speak that makes our reality now we've so you got see how we can distort? Yeah. Absolutely. With our doubts, with our fears, with mixed messaging, with maybe wanting uh more than one thing. So should I go to school or should I intern? Or mm-hmm. you know, so you can have a lot of uh different choices as well. And then even if I look at the negative space between that, so we have what the choices are, but then in between it's almost like in the in between space that that it seems to have uh, that gap that isn't quite full yet either. So there's there seems to be a forefront and a background to that. Yes. And how do we bring them to a blend? And how, like for instance, in the third dimension on your page, you can see yep. the term yin yang. And how do we use that? Well, the human beings will perhaps only use their yin and be fully receptive and no action. Mm. or they're using their yang and they're out there going, 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 doing, 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 and they don't take the time to relax in so they can be receptive for the next inspiration. Mm. The gap in between is spirit. Mm. When we really find our balance point, that yin-yang becomes a constant ebb and flow. As a matter of fact, we could draw the infinity sign around yin and yang. Mm-hmm. And so that we then can come into the yin aspect, receive our inspiration, receive the creativity, receive that impulse to purpose, and draw it back out into the yang energy. Mm-hmm. The yang energy is our consciousness, our intention. We now know how to put A, B, and C together and then mm-hmm. take action. Mm-hmm. I and had a, a question submitted here online that has to do with that uh, comments, and I think she might be saying something similar to what I am, but I can't, uh, I'll, I'll just read it. Annie says, it sounds like chaos in the second dimension is almost more positive since it stimulates creativity, and she's suggesting that maybe the third dimension, third dimensional world tends to define chaos in not such a positive realm, and she was wondering if you had a comment on that. Absolutely, absolutely. She's correct. Our third dimension sees chaos as something wrong. Without chaos, we don't create. Mm -hmm. And if I take that to us personally, I'd say to the audience, how many of you have come into some of the greatest chaos, but out of it has come an inspiration? Mm. Out of agitation comes an inspiration or Mm -hmm. the tale of what I don't want and what I do want. Hi there, my name is Nina Wallander and I wanted to talk to you about Layers of Health. Layers of Health is a free online community dedicated to investigating holistic and alternative health options. These options can include physical health, mental and emotional health, business health, as well as your spiritual health. So you can join me as I discuss your health concerns with various experts, mentors and leaders in their fields. And these interviews are offered for free live, as well as during special Encore presentations. But if you find one that is particularly interesting to you, you can also purchase it. So you can join me 
at www.layersofhealth.com and I'll see you on the calls.